Hello, welcome to my modeling dinosaur series. This is the Pachycephalosaurus. I had a really hard time with the sketch for this. Nothing was seeming quite right. You can even see my messages of distress. I ended up just giving up on trying to draw the head, and I just ended up tracing over a skull, which I think is for the best because... The Pachycephalosaurus was found in the Hell Creek Formation in Montana. Once the sketch was finally done, I started modeling the body. I start with a cube, line it up with the outline, and then extrude it. I extrude both ends for the head and the tail. I loop cut the body to add more dimension and then start refining the shape. Then Blender crashed. I think that was actually a sign from above, because I ended up liking my new sketch a whole lot better. It lived at the end of the Cretaceous period, around 70 to 66 million years ago. It's estimated to be around 12 to 15 feet long, and it's got a big dome on the back of its head. Once I'm in about the same area I was before, I extruded the arms and legs, and also the head, because I didn't get to that last time. The Pachycephalosaurus was an Ornithischian dinosaur. It was a member of the Marginocephalia, along with the Ceratopsians and other members of its own suborder. Dinosaurs in the Marginocephalia can be identified by the bony protrusions on the back of their heads. Lightning round! Pachycephalosaurus was in Pachycephalosauria, Pachycephalosauridae, and Pachycephalosaurini. Now, for a dinosaur that you probably weren't expecting to hear about in this episode, on Pachycephalosaurus. History. History. Truidon. An already, uh, dinosaur. It was named from only a single tooth. Today, its validity is dubious at best, and it's completely invalid at worst. Stegosaurus, a dinosaur that's related to the Pachycephalosaurus, was redescribed to be a species of Trudon in 1924 because of the similarities in the teeth of the two species. Because Stegosaurus was thought to be a species of Trudon, what's now Pachycephalosaurus was also lumped in with them. Today, Trudontids are pretty much on the opposite side of the dinosauria tree to Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus had quite a bit of head ornamentation, so I used the knife tool to cut out each spike on the head and then extrude each one. This part took so long. Then during the UV unwrapping, I had to mark seams around each of those little spikes too. I also marked seams around the center of the model and around each arm and leg. Then I adjust the UV mesh a little bit. The Pachycephalosaurus will die- Huh. Okay. The Pachycephalosaurus might have been an omnivore. Its back teeth were used for eating plant matter. You've known about these back teeth for decades. However, in 2018, it was revealed that carnivore-like teeth were found in the front of the jaw of a juvenile Pachycephalosaurus. This suggests that the Pachycephalosaurus was not an obligate herbivore and instead ate meat as well. Then I do the texture painting. I wanted the dome to be a bright color for display. The definitive Pachycephalosaurus species is Pachycephalosaurus wyomingensis, although there may have been another species. More, More history. history. Stigimoloch is a Pachycephalosaurid that has been recently synonymized with the Pachycephalosaurus genus. So why wasn't it assigned to Pachycephalosaurus in the first place? That's because it's not an adult specimen, and the bony dome on its head is quite a different shape than the other recovered Pachycephalosauruses. It's unclear if Stigomoloch would represent its own species of Pachycephalosaurus spinifer, or if it could be considered P. wyomingensis. I lean towards it representing its own species, because the rock that it's found in is slightly younger than Pachycephalosaurus wyomingensis. Next is rigging the model. I extrude all the bones along the side view, then adjust the arms and legs to where I need them to be, and give them all the suffix dot L, then semicrize them. I ended up using just automatic weights for this model. Stigomoloch wasn't the only juvenile Pachycephalosaurid to be later considered Pachycephalosaurus. Dracorex, which I think wins the dinosaur genus who has the worst species name, has a very flat head with large spikes on its back. It's now also considered to be a juvenile Pachycephalosaurus. Considering Dracorex and Stigomoloch, the dome on the Pachycephalosaurus grew in size as it aged. The dome was likely used for interspecies combat, maybe between males in order to impress the potential mates. A lot of Pachycephalosaurus domes are also found with pathologies on them, and this may support the hypothesis. I also made sure to pay attention to the lighting of the scene. I usually do scenes with light backgrounds, so I used a darker brown as the background in this one. And we're done with the Pachycephalosaurus. 
If you have any suggestions for dinosaurs that I should model, then be sure to comment them. Thank you so much for watching. Yippee!